In this series, one of the things I really want to show you is how Woking was so cosmopolitan, such a mixture, and that was a hundred years ago, and it's always been since. And I feel from someone who's lived in one part, worked in another, I've seen it all. I've seen the best and the worst of this place. 1889, the mosque was built. Right now, we're worse off than we were then. At 10 years old, Sara Sharif had her whole life ahead of her. But all that was snatched last summer when her bruised and lifeless body was discovered at home in Woking. I just cannot believe it. I have been shocked, appalled. I cannot understand why this has happened and why more has not been done. So Woking truly is a heaven and hell. Woking is really a town of two halves. And I don't think those two halves have ever been talking to one another. There's a billion pound infrastructure. There's just two, three minutes walk that way. And then there's this half of this town that's been completely ignored, not been invested in. People found heaven here. So as Afrullah Khan made a journey to this very place that I'm in today. No matter appearance, language, dress, culture, he put all of that aside because of his passion and his love for Ahmad the Islam in particular. And he preached right from the center of the empire. It's about exploring the uncovered history of Woking. Woking, these are my roots.